Hi everyone. There seems to be some confusion on how to do the replacements for the pages that I mentioned in the email. So I wanted to just show you how to do it again very quickly. So in the email, you had four attachments, two of which were Word documents. One was just the explanation of the course fixes, and one was the course checklist where you could uh, kind of do a double check of your shell. But the other two were text files. And these two text files basically um, are going to be the replacement code that you um, are going to use for those pages. So I'm just going to open one up here for the assignment preview and rubrics so you can see. When you open it, it actually is just a bunch of code. And so that's why I told you to save it. It's probably easier than trying to copy it here. It could be a problem while you're trying to go back and forth between two pages. So basically, make sure that you save at least these two documents to make those fixes. Okay, and again, don't get thrown off because the name includes HTML in it. It's not an HTML file. It's actually a text file, TXT extension file. So now let me show you what you're going to do with that. So here I have the file for the assignment preview and rubrics page. And again, it's a text file. All you need to do here is go under edit and select all and then edit and copy. Now you want to have your course open as well so that you can take what you just copied and paste it. So here I have my course open and let me just show you how I got to this page in the table of contents in the first option over here um, in the table of contents. You'll see assignment previews, rubrics, feedback, etc. When you click on there, whoops, Sorry about that. You'll scroll down. You'll hit assignment previews and grading rubrics. When that page opens, you'll go right here where it says edit HTML. On there, you'll just scroll down to this page here until you get to the HTML source editor, the two little arrows. You just click on that. You select everything in that window and delete it. Now, because you have that other stuff copied, you can just hit Control V, or you could right click and hit paste, whichever is your option that you like to use. Once you do that, you hit save, and it will look like the identical page, but now all the links will work. So when you click on save and close, when you go to that page, you should be able to see the assignment uh, preview will pop up for you and then the rubrics will open now the rubrics will not open in a new window they will open in the same window so you go here and it should show you the personal strengths rubric and then if you want to just get back to the page hit the back window but you'll do this for the assignment previews page and you'll also do it for the um, other page that you need to make the fix with the DSC resources. Again, you'll want to open the HTML file that I sent you, the, the code for the text file. And again, DSC, Academic Resources, you'll see it's a different one. Go under Edit, select All, Copy. Then you'll go to your class. And again, depending on what semester you're teaching, if it's a 16 week semester, it's under week four under the chapter two content. I believe it's under week two in the eight week classes, but you'll go to the link that says DSC Academic Resources and edit HTML. And when you come on here, you'll see this page. You'll see that it has the old videos on there. You'll come here to the HTML editor, select everything, delete it, paste the new code. Again, either control V or right click and paste. And when you hit save, it will put all of the new videos in there. It'll put everything correct, hit save and close. And again, you will see the update with all of the new videos on that page. Hopefully this makes it a little easier to understand for those of you that aren't as comfortable with some of the technology.